Hi, welcome to my overview of the Open Infra and Biturgia partnership, where we provide community dashboards to Open Infra projects. Uh, this is something we have been working towards for quite some time, and I'm super excited that now Open Infra and Biturgia partner in providing metrics to Open Infra projects. And if you go back and look at these two organizations real quick, Open Infra is a growing, maturing community that has over 100,000 members across the world and really builds critical open source software. The way that Open Infra does this is interesting because Open Infra Foundation has the four opens that are the core key success factors or core beliefs. One is open source. The second open is open development, then open design and open community. So open source is about having the proper license and showing that the that the source code is available to everyone and the rights of the user are preserved. Open development says we want to have everyone's input on how the software should be built. It's not a single person's or our opinion that counts the most. Everyone should have that input. The next open, open design, is a commitment to having those processes in place that everyone has a fair chance to contribute. And the last one, open community says, hey, we want everyone who has an interest to have a way to participate, to reach leadership uh, positions and have a voice in the community. And we, Maturgia loves to support this, of course, and metrics are a key success factor in making sure, are we building that welcoming, inclusive community, all our processes in a way that everyone has the fair chance to contribute. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that, that's what those metrics are for, to make sure that everything is going right. And to give you a little background on Biturgia, Biturgia is a company that has been around for 10 years, previous to that, been doing university research on how software is built and analyzing that through metrics. The team built open source tools that are still open source today to analyze software development projects and provide insights to how software development works. And so that's our background. And when we had the chance of working with Open Infra Foundation, we been working for a while now we leveled it up to a partnership uh thierry the general manager has said biturgia is the internationally recognized team of experts in open source metrics it really makes sense for the open infra foundation to partner more closely with them as we look towards supporting the next decade of open infrastructure projects through this partnership all open infra projects will have access to pertinent and standard community metrics and insights. So what does that partnership look like? The background is we've already been working together for many years. Open infra has had um, Biturgia dashboards for several projects. We've written uh, the open stack gender reports together with Intel. So there's a lot of shared values and work, the, the values around the four opens, the work that we've done together that have preceded this partnership. The goals that we wanted to move towards is have the meaningful community insights more readily available and work together more between the, the metric knowledge at Biturgia and the domain knowledge, the what's happening in the community at the foundation and partner up 
have more interactions and work together with the community to build sustainable communities. And then hopefully also support data-driven decisions because once we know how the community is doing and as we are making changes, we can see how that affects the metrics and we can keep track. Are we improving the way that we are hoping to? Now, let's take a look at the at the dashboards and what what that can look like. So far, I've talked about the the partnership, what we aspire to do, but we have already accomplished some things together. So I want to take a look at three dashboards with you today and show you an example of the kind of insights that you can get from the dashboards. We'll do this on the example of the Zool, Stalling X, and Kata containers. We are also working towards having a dashboard for OpenStack, but that is a work in progress. So we can look at Zool, Stalling X, and Kata containers. And the dashboards are available already. You can go to the URL you see at the bottom of the slide and pull up the metrics and the dashboards and follow along as I show you around. So let's start out by looking at Zool. When you go to a dashboard, I want to first highlight a few things on the interface. At the top, there's a menu where you have a way to access different dashboards organized by different kinds of insights about, let's say, uh, Garrett, Git, mailing list community. Then we have here a date picker where we can choose what time frame we want to analyze. So let's say we want to do look at the last two years. And then we see an overview. Now we're looking at the last two years. Here's a filter. We're saying we don't want to look at empty commits like merge commits. And we don't want to see bots activity. The overview page that we're on has some key metrics. So we see in the Zool community for the last two years, we have 1,848 changes from 83 contributors and 24 organizations. The top contributor or con top submitter is James Blair. And we can also see how the contributions are uh, distributed across different organizations. One thing that is interesting here is we see dips around the last week of December. Okay, so Christmas, apparently there's not much activity. But then coincidentally, this also is the release cycle of version 5.0. And we see how the Efforts are ramping up towards the release, and then as we're getting closer to the release, it all it winds down again. So we can see the activity level level in the community towards the yeah throughout the release cycle. So that's a little overview of the dashboard and some basic insights on the Zool community. Let's move on to the next example, Starling X, and look at some other metrics. So with Starling X, one of the things that I found interesting when I looked at the data is looking at the engagement, the activity level over the last, let's say last three years. Uh, so during the pandemic years, we can see here at uh, beginning of 2002 is when the pandemic started. And then here is a valley, a dip in contributions before it picks up again. And we see this in whether we just look at all contributions together uh, or by mailing list, git commits and Garrett, that's code reviews. So it looks like there's a, a valley with less activity 
in the community, which coincides with the pandemic. But if we, if we want to look at how is the community doing, that's not the only factor. Another is the experience that contributors have. So looking at code reviews and how long it takes to get changes into the source code, we can see on average, it takes about four days from a um, code change being made to it being merged. So four days from, hey, community, here's something to look at to, okay, the work is done with all the feedback, all the iterations, everything in that time frame. And when we look at the review efficiency index, so how many code reviews are opened and closed, even during the pandemic, we're still looking at the same three years. Even during the pandemic, there was a, a small spike in lead time, but it, it normalized again. And the overall activity level, while maybe at a lower level, the engagement was still really good throughout the pandemic. That's at least how I'm interpreting the data. I, I'm not in the community. This is where, you know, the partnership really comes to bear. And Biturgia brings knowledge on how to look at the data and how to interpret it. But that second part, how to interpret it, really depends on what is happening in the community, how do contributors perceive it, and that's where we need input from, from you all from the open infra community. So let's look at uh, Kata containers, our third example today. One of the things that I heard, Kata containers has been around for a while and the or, or founding organizations wanted to really build a diverse community of other organizations. So. If we look at the engagement of organizations, we see Intel is one of the largest contributors, one of the founding members, um, but their engagement is going down. The overall activity is good, is, is stable, but Intel's proportion is winding down. And another founding member is Ant Financial. So if we include the two founding companies, organizations, and look at the remaining, all the other community members that have contributed throughout the last five years, we see a steady increase of more organizational diversity. So this community, the Kata Container community, is becoming more diverse and gets more and more engagement from other organizations beyond the initial founding um, organizations. So here's an example for how a project sets a goal to be more diverse and have more contributions from more organizations. And then we can track in the metrics how they're reaching that goal. All right, that's a quick overview of some of the dashboards and metrics that we have today and that we can look at. The final word that I have is that there's more. As part of this partnership between Open Infra and Biturgia, you as the Open Infra community have access to Biturgia and to do more that goes beyond just the dashboards. For one, we could do a diversity, equity, inclusion survey, analysis of your community, find out you know, how is it set up? How are things going? We can provide metrics trainings. If you want to become better at looking at these metrics and dashboards, maybe even build your own visualizations because you have a different question that needs a different way of looking at the data. You know, reach out. We're happy to help. We can also help with annual reports. If you want a report on your community and that goes not just here's a dashboard, but actually 
here's how the last year has been and here's the activities that we've done here's the metrics that have show how these activities have resulted in changes in the community you know let's tell a story let's show how your community is doing and create that report together we can look at fairness transparency and openness in your community and see are there biases in how certain members are prioritizing reviews of each other versus you know i'm just throwing out examples i don't know if this is going on but there are things that the metrics can show that might be interesting to you so let us know what you're interested in always happy to talk more feel free to reach out i'm happy to connect and i yeah look forward to hearing from you or seeing you around the community. Thank you.